Sharp is basically a multi-dimensional being, I guess. I was a radio host on YFM, I had a TV show. I think the whole original music thing was something I've been wanting to do for years, because I studied sound engineering and I graduated in 2014. So basically since then, I've been wanting to drop original music, but I guess the DJing got in the way and fear got in the way. So now I was like after Afropunk in New York, just seeing all these wonderful people on the stage and like them shining their light as bright as possible, it just made me realize like I'm not doing everything I can right now. And I also realized like as a DJ, when you're touring overseas, people put more love and like more money into people that have their own original music, you know? Like if you're just a DJ playing music, that's everyone's music, you're not gonna get booked as much or your fee's not gonna be as much as if it's your own original music. So that's why I had to add that. I would say that my EP sound is very 80s pop inspired because for me, the 80s was a special moment where Stuff was analog, but we're moving into a digital age. So some of the sounds would be recorded analog, some of the sounds would be digital with the synthesizers. And I really appreciated that because you would have the, the warmth of the analog, but you'd also have like that like, I don't know how to explain, but that, that thing from the digital age, you know? Why did I choose an EP and not an album? I'll say because I'm not ready for an album. For me, like, when you do an album, you know your sound, you know your vibe, you know exactly what you're bringing. So an EP is always a space to experiment and to be like, guys, this is like a bit of art I'm doing, hear it, see what people say, and then later I'll drop an album. But for now, I think I'm still gonna do a few more EPs.